In the rapidly changing world of artificial intelligence, not only have the models and workloads been changing and evolving, but what we can use to run our workloads and models has been changing at the same rapid pace along with it. Sometimes, given how much is changing, it can be hard to determine what we should use to run our workloads or even where we should run them, given all the options out there. For example, let's start with a software engineer named Alex. Alex has been trying out different large language models, LLMs for short, to see if they can create an AI agent to help them summarize research they were looking at. Initially, they started off with AI Studio since it was the easiest to get started with. But then they wondered if they could have an AI agent output summaries using language specific to their field by default. So they looked at the process for fine tuning these models for specific applications and began to explore Vertex AI to see how they could customize their models and then deploy them to a custom endpoint. Alex was finding limitations in the customizations they could make to the hardware available for the inference endpoints. From this point, they decided that maybe it was time to explore another option. Through doing some research, Alex came across a page on the AI hypercomputer, which provides a guide or a path towards running your own custom workloads. The AI hypercomputer is a schematic that provides a set of components, both hardware and software, where you only use as much as you need. You can combine this in different ways to create custom solutions for running your own AI workloads. Components themselves are classified into three main categories, which are performance-optimized hardware for compute, such as cloud TPUs and cloud GPUs, storage and networking open software that you can use within your own stack with machine learning frameworks such as Jackson PyTorch to other components such as Jetstream for running LLM inference workloads, and flexible consumption that allows you to control what you use, utilizing concepts such as the dynamic workload scheduler. Alex now needs to decide what components they might need to use for their custom endpoint. They will need something for compute, a way to serve their model, and of course, a model that they're going to use. For our solution, we are planning on using three things, Cloud TPUs for compute, Optimum TPU for running the model, and Gemma 2 as the model itself. Cloud Tensor Processing Units, TPUs, are specialized hardware accelerators designed by Google to accelerate machine learning workloads. Optimum TPU is a set of tools and libraries that make it easier to run models from Hugging Face on Cloud TPUs. One of the tools it provides is an integration with text generation inference, which we can leverage to help us generate text from our LLMs through an API call. Gemma 2 is an open source model from Google. We plan on using this as the model that we are going to run on our endpoint. To tie all of this together, first we need to create a Cloud TPU virtual machine that we will be able to run our model on. For our case, we have decided to leverage the TPU V5V with our VM as those work with the Optimum TPU library. For the next part, we will download the Optimum TPU Docker image onto the VM. We will then set two environment variables, one containing our Hugging Face token so that we can download the model that we want to run from the model garden. The other is the model that we want to download which in this case is Gemma 2, which provides either a 2 billion or 9 billion parameter option. Depending on the Cloud TPU VM you choose, you can choose from either model. Once the server is up and running, we can test it out on our local command line by sending a request to the text generation inference API using the curl command. Once we send the request, we should get a response back. With that, we have set up our first endpoint running inference to generate text using Gemma 2. This is just one way we could have set up an endpoint for running inference with a model to generate text with the AI hypercomputer. The thing to remember is, the AI hypercomputer is an architectural pattern with common components that you can adapt to your workloads. Components that are designed to work well together, considering Google's many years serving AI experiences to billions of users globally. To find out more about the AI hypercomputer, you can visit the link here. So what are you waiting for? Go try building your first AI hypercomputer using the components you need for your own AI workload.